All right, welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and hit play now and log in. Stream, Steam, Steam Stream. I wonder if that's a coincidence. All right. If you remember, last time we were in the middle of introducing Boric to his son. Um, let's see. I'm going to talk to him, see if he can remind me what I'm supposed to be doing Thank next. Thank you for helping me patch things up with my pa. More exciting than that, though. I have ideas for how to reinvent this business. Ah, Boric was the guy who was sabotaging his own father. From another place. That's great. So you're sticking around? Aye. Talk to my father about it, and he'll tell you more. There we go. Let's see if I can find the father. Oh, he's right here. Doric. How creative. I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. It was nothing. It was not. Gods know what I would have done if you... You hadn't made us talk it out. That's why we've decided we're going to relaunch the business as Doric and Son. Mm hmm. That's brilliant. In fact, we'd like you to come on board as a business partner. What do you say? You, I'd say you want me to do all the work and gather all the materials and do all the fighting and do all... No, we'll see. <laughs> I'd love to. Not right now. Can you put my name in the shop title too? What's in it for me? I'd love to. Excellent. Welcome aboard. What? So what should a business partner start by doing? Sit back and enjoy the profits while you do all the work? Don't worry, Father. I've got this. Actually, what we'd like our brand new business partner to do is two very simple tasks. The first thing we need is more space. And when dwarves need space, they dig. There are some steps over there. Unfortunately, some rocks are blocking the way. We'd like our new business partner to clear it out. Hmm. Okay, I guess I could do that. While you're at it, we also need two suits of ornamental armor for the mannequin bases and a new sign making for the shop front. Hey, I have dwarven armor. You think they would take that? Or did I throw that all away? I used to have dwarven armor. So they need two more sets of armor. Uh, I remember where I got it all. I must have thrown it all away. It's gone. Do you want those bars now? You don't have room for all the materials you need. But I can give you these for now. Thanks, partner. Something about clearing rocks and something about making ornamental armor or getting ornamental armor. Well, where do you think you're going? I just want to see what was up here. This is my home. If I wanted you going up there, I would have invited you. Now please step away. Do you want those bars now? No space for him. So how do I get rid of all this stuff? Go to the bank? Okay. Just let me know when you want them. I 
can smelt bronze bars, but I need tin ore to do that. Ornamental plate body. Ah, okay. So I can make ornamental stuff myself. Do they care about which kind? Let's do one. Ornamental plate body, ornamental chain body. Chop sign. Let's do one of each. Done. Do you want those bars now? Sure. You don't have room for all the materials you need. I can give you these for now. Little by little, buddy. Oops, wrong way. Alright. Do you want those bars now? There you go. All right. How's that? Have you made those items yet? Yep. Thanks. Once you've cleared the workshop, come back and talk to me again. You can? Clear the workshop. Okay, so something about rocks in the way. I don't see any rocks. How are you getting on with those tasks we set you? I just gotta clear the mine now. Okay, so why are you standing here talking to me? Get on with it. So much for being even business partners. Alright, so where's the mine? There's a dwarven mine over there. Do you think that's where it is? But it'll be obvious when I get there, but it's a matter of where do I go. How are you getting on with those tasks, Mr. Okay, so why are you standing here? Maybe it's over here, because this looks like a mine right here. Aha, there's steps. Let's climb down the steps. I was going out the wrong door. There we go. Alright, we're in the mine. There's the rocks. That would be it. Ooh, gave me a lot of experience for doing that. That was quick. Maybe I just have to go all the way down here and do all the rocks. Or do you think that was it? I don't see much else down here. Did heat the forge? It didn't give me any rocks for doing that, so it's not like I have to do anything with them. Somebody's working down here. Here's an anvil. Let's just look and see what I can do with that. I could do a full helm. Square shield, kite shield, gauntlets, armored boots, lots of weapons like, uh, not very strong. These are like low level stuff. Looks like I have everything to do all that. Let's go back up and say, hey, we cleared up the rocks and see what he says. I don't see a whole lot of other stuff to do down here anyway. Easy peasy.
All right, I cleared the rocks. What do you think? Have you cleared the workshop? All clear down Thank there. Thank you for all the assistance you've given us. I have something for you as a reward, but first, let's get the opening ceremony started. Alright, that was quick. What's mine is yours. I got an amulet, which gives bonus for mining and smithing experience. So I gotta wear that doff and an amulet every time I go mining or smithing. Probably doesn't happen very much, but now look, I have access to their tasks. Amulet charges. And two treasure hunter keys. Fireworks! Yay! You like that? <laughs> I did dork. All right. Looks like that mission is completely done. Um, I could ask for more stuff to do around here. Might as well while I'm here. Hello, traveler. What brings you to my humble smithy? Do you have any more smithing tasks? Not yet. The business is taking a bit longer than planned to get up to speed. You should practice your smithing in the meantime and come back to see us later. You need level 10 smithing to start the next task. Good to know. Alright. I need tin ore to be able to do that, so I don't have any of that. my amulet that I just got. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So you have to choose smithing or mining. Seems kind of a pain. I have to, like, remember that I I have this thing. Since I wasn't planning on doing much of either at the moment, I will skip that. Alright. Here is my tiny little quest list. Let's see where we're at. This is a little quest to gather living water from the cave of gelatinous abominations. I remember I was like unable to kill those things. I wasn't quite sure how to do that. Leaf of wandering wormwood from the south shore. Okay. And stone scales from the stone fish. So I could probably do the two bottom things, but the, the vial of living water is going to be a kind of a mystery until I figure that one out. I'll have to pass. This one. This one was Lucky the delivery dwarf asked me to find a crate that fell off his cart in the road north of Falador. Oh, I'm still looking for that. Road north of Falador. Let's double check. Maybe I was looking in the wrong place before. Alright. Falador is here. I am currently near the road north of Falador, so I am kind of in that area. I'm going to go start here and then go northwest and follow that road. And if I don't find the crate, go east and look along that road.
We're looking for a crate. If anyone sees a crate, let me know. He moved and I didn't even click anywhere. That's interesting. Oh, I moved because somebody else was coming. Okay. It automatically moved me. Open shot, mini game, spotlight, podium. Wow. Oh. Cheap stuff. Any crates around here? Read signpost. It says along a road. Does it mean in the road or near the road? Because there's a lake over there. It might be like along the water. There's a couple crates here, but I don't think this is them. Bear, is he gonna attack me? I'm gonna keep following this road. I'm gonna pretend it's the road. See, I'm near the end of the road, right? Yeah. Not much else over here. Crate is mysteriously missing. That's a hurt goblin. He's only got a few hit points left. It's tempting, right? Any crates around here, buddies? Not seeing any. Signpost, I don't care about that. Looks like it's something over there. Is that a square rock? That is a square rock and not a wooden crate. We'll go to the goblin village again. Can you find a crate, buddies? A lot of dead bodies. Let's go up this path. That looks like something. Stub thumb. Uh, hello there. Could I ask you about the... Humph. Don't you know anything? It's not safe to talk right now. Cross wilderness wall. Okay, that's probably not good. But... I'll do that in a second. I just want to look around up here. So this is not something I could click on. Examine unlit beacon. Probably used as a warning beacon. Okay. Alright, 
Alright, I'll go ahead and click cross wilderness wall and see where it takes me. Probably just to the ground right here. There's a crate. I don't think it's the right one. Probably just more armor. I already got that armor. Probably threw it in the trash. Top down dead tree. Red, not green. Another door. More people in here don't want to talk to them because they talk forever about nothing. Climb down ladder. Let's try there. Is there a crate down there? Will not let me climb down the wall. Somebody getting pummeled over here. Are they attacking each other? They are. That's weird. Alright, so it's... I don't believe it's in the goblin area. I think it would have been more obvious if it were. Alright, well, we'll skip that. Um, I guess we'll go in here. I have not explored in this area. There's a chaos altar. I don't see any... Stuff on the ground. Pray at the Chaos Altar. Sure. Ooh, he got mad. We already have full prayer points. Oh, they're all chasing that guy. He is attack or bugging them. Alright, so I'm gonna say pass on this area for the crate. So if the crate was anywhere. Wheat, don't need wheat. Mining and smithing, not on the top of my list at the moment. Although leveling up would be nice. Checking to see if there's any extra. Nope. I'm gonna climb this ladder. I just realized this was here. What is up here? Ah, it is a bank. Am I allowed to use it? I am, sweet. I can dump stuff in the bank. I can deposit the red topaz. Do I want to equip? Can't check that. All right, deposit the spirit shard. Deposit the mask. Deposit the amulet. Gotta remember that exists. Got a couple bronze bars. Medium skill training dummy crate. What do you do with that? Is that the crate we're looking for? Deposit all oddments because I don't know what they are. I'll leave the runes in case I need to use magic. Deposit the book. I'm gonna run out of space in this bank. I think it's 150 and I'm at... Hmm. Could drop the silver light, but it's a really weak sword. so I can dump it. I have some bronze bars already in here. If I take them, they don't stack. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and deposit these ones so it won't take up any extra space. So just pile on top, I think. Yep. That is a good relief. Broomstick. I could probably dump that too. Stone scales. That sounds familiar. Necklace, task list. There's so much junk. And they don't tell you what's good and what's not. You just have to manually. It's like a time waster, you know? Stone spirit. Yeah. 
There's a jug. Wandering wormwood. That was something I needed. Ashes, house key, bonds or box. I wonder how much you can fit in that. Bronze dagger, I could probably dump that too. Low level stuffs. Alright, what else can I put in the Put a bucket there, I could put a bronze pickaxe. Chisel, swanky boots. Let's put the swanky boots in there. Alright, let's look and see. Alright, so Pathfinder jacket. Oops. Chain body is 34, this is 36. So I want the Pathfinder jacket. Chain body. I don't want to dump it. Not sure. We'll drop the dagger. Alright, safety gloves are 7. Pathfinders are 80. 8. Silver Light had some like, special ability. I, I'll save it just because I think it had some special ability. Like it was able to damage things that others weren't. But the broomstick, that's old news. I'm going to dump that. Teleport. Teleport broomstick? What? You don't know how to operate this item. Okay, I don't know what teleport means, but that was pretty cool. I will put it back in here just in case. Maybe magically you can do something. neutral barrier. Talk to Liara. Who are you? Some call me Liara. I lead those who wish to take what they want from those who don't want it. Need it. Sounds interesting. Indeed so. There are so many islands out here, out there. Makes it easy to sail out and plunder them. Is it that easy? Well, with old goody two-shoes over there, I've had to think about expansion too. He brings in more guards, so I have to bring in more crook. How can I help? I'm afraid you can't at the moment. Okay. Loading transport. Robber Barrier. Okay. Talk to Sir Violin. I'm Sir Violin. I lead the guards. Fearless protectors of islands beyond. My job to keep out brigands and robbers who seek to exploit the many riches that can be found on our islands. Robbers, you say? Yes, they plague our poorly guarded islands. They are so many, we are spread so thin, hence the need to recruit more able bodies. How many people are helping you? We have a large number of recruits, including many undercover operatives. Merchants, bakers, bakers, civilians, camels. Camels? Don't get me started. They're loose cannons who play by their own rules. But they make mighty fine guards. How can I help? I'm afraid you can't. 
You might not want to come back here again. Seems kind of pointless. That would be the answer. Yep. Going down. Still looking for that crate. I think we have to go east. So we've really explored the heck out of this area to the west and north. Let's go east. Talk to Ozen, maybe he knows. The other day I went out with a cute wizard apprentice Ilona, and she told me how you rescued her from a cult in the Lumbridge Catacombs. I told her some stories about my adventures, but she kept turning the conversation back to you. If anyone asks about the time you and I got shipwrecked together and I had to fight a horde of zombie trolls, or the time I saved you from the lair of the fire spiders, just nod, okay? Wow. Chronic Liar. There's a highway man. I'm slightly off the track. Here's that delivery dwarf. He's gonna say, how you doing? Say, not so good. What's in the crates? Just parts. Replacement parts for the power station. Alright, maybe it's this way. I have not searched in this direction at all. And I thought he meant he went the other way, but I tried the other way. Alright, so we got two paths. I'm going to start with this one because it's shorter. Ruined pillar. An odd crumbled. This is the end. Slightly up. Look around here. Mysterious ruins, that's not where I'm going. Maybe the barbarians took it. I guess I could look in there. Could be. Anyone found a crate? Some stuff in here. I don't know. Examine the shelves. Oops. Potter, form Potter's wheel. Ah, I need soft clay. Let's 
met the animal. Okay. So they have mining stuff here as well. I just need some tin and I can make some stuff. That's coal. Not seeing a crate. I will look one quick glance into these, see if there's any mysterious crates. There's a chest there. Doubt it's in there. Probably nothing in part of this one. Another bronze pickaxe. I'm just gonna ignore that because I already have like 20 of them. Another empty pot. Got a million of those. We'll talk to this guy and then we'll probably head out of town. Interested in buying or selling a helmet? Could be. Alright, armor 40. Sweet. That's a pretty nice one. Alright, I'll see what I got. Here's another one. Iron full helm. 63? How come it won't let me buy it? Level 20. So helmets are really nice here. 40. 40. Iron or iron. These look identical. Let's have two of them. Let's see what I got right now. Current helm is 40. Oh, it's the same. I'll pass on that. But for some reason I can't buy the 63. Let me try again. What is wrong with that? I'll click on it first. Tell me why. 63. Alright. What's that little... Oh, maybe I'm not a high enough level. There we go. Alright. I bought a nice helmet. Now I click on it and say, hey, put it on. You need level 20 defense to wear this item. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay. Skills. What's my defense? These ones are blinking. Why are they blinking? Looking for defense. This one right defense? Oh, I'm 19 out of 19. Okay, so I'm really, really, really close to 20. Let's see if I can, like, use some of these keys to level up my defense and my smithing, I suppose. Large fallen star. Claim it. Defense. Continue. Okay, level up. Of course not. Mining, hey. Oh, I needed that. Let's use that. Oh. What are the red things?
see if I could use the runecraft in crawling out. Hey, it worked. I need 100 or 96. 96 more. Alright, so 714 should be plenty. Oh, that's remaining. Okay, so it's just subtracting. It's saying you need still 471. It's So how is that not 471? Because I still need 96. Must be a different scale of this stuff. Out of key. So this is a good spot for getting helmets if I ever need one in the future. Let's continue this way. Didn't see a crate in your barbarian village. I suppose it might be in this door. Or up. Attack Barbarian. Huh. So easy to accidentally attack somebody. Ooh, that looks like blood. And shackles. Any crates in here with parts for a power supplier? Nope. Let's keep going across this bridge. This is the path continued. Oh, I saw something that said covered hidey hole rock. What is that? Construct the hidey hole rock. You need 42 construction and oak plank and steel nails. Ooh, I'm not quite there yet. Talk to Squidward. Ha ha, hello. Who are you? I'm Squidward. Squidward, the great and brainy. Why do they call you great and brainy? Because I invented the log canoe. Log canoe? Yes, sir. Me and my cousins were having a great party by the river and we decided to have a game of smack the tree. Smack the tree? It's a game where you take a turn sh smacking the tree. First one to uproot the tree, winch. Anyway, I won the game with a flying tackle. Tree came loose, down the river bank I went, still holding the tree. I woke up a few hours later and found myself several miles down river. And that's how I invented the log canoe. 
So you invented the log canoe by falling into a river and hugging a tree. Well, I refined the design from the original, you know. I cut all the branches off to make it more comfortable. I could tell you how if you liked. Sure. Well, you don't like look like you have the skill to make a canoe. You need at least 12 wood cutting. Once you're able to make a canoe, it travels it makes travel along the river much quicker. Chop down canoe station. that examine plant. Examine ruined pillar. Mysterious ruins. How about a crate? Anybody find a crate around here? Musician. Gertrude. Hello, Gertrude. Don't mind me pillaging through your house and opening all your chests. Looking at the range. Hello, are you okay? Do I look okay? These kids drive me crazy. I'm sorry. It's just that I've lost her. Lost whom? Fluffs. Poor Fluffs. She never hurt anyone. Who's Fluffs? My beloved feline friend, Fluffs. She's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Please, could you go and search for her while I take care of the children? What's in it for me? I'm sorry, I'm too poor to pay you anything. Best I could offer you is a warm meal. So can you help? Just a meal? Uh, it's not the best offer that I've had, but I suppose I can help. I suppose I could give you some nice yummy chocolate cake. Maybe even a kitten too, if you seem like the nice sort. Is that something you'd be persuaded with? I suppose I could, but I need more details. Really? Thank you so much. I really have no idea where she could be. I think my sons Shillop and Willow saw the cat last. They'll be out in the marketplace. Marketplace? Which one would that be? It would help get up to as well. Really? Well, I generally let them do whatever they want. So I have no idea exactly what they would be doing. They are good lads, though. I'm sure they're just watching the passerbys in Vero Marketplace. Oh, to be young and carefree again. Alright then, I'll see what I can do. Two young lads in Vero Marketplace. I can only hope that there's no school trip passing through when I arrive. And I'm looking for that crate. Talk to Canal. Hello. You seen Fluffs? Fluffs? He's your mummy's cat. Cat? Right. Bye, Canal. Me? Kick leaf doggy doogie bush. Doogie leaves. Examine them. Tasty herb for seasoning. 
must be a cooking thing. Alright, so we're still looking for the crate. And we're also going to be looking in Baruch for some kids. And a cat. Keep going, I'll go east in a second. We'll turn all around here. Am I near Baruch already or no? The cooking level 32. Okay. Thank you for saving the time. I can skip that. Talk to Zeta, female mannequin. Okay. Let's see how close I am to Baruch. Okay, so I'm close. Um. Go in a circle around here and see if I can find. Oh, I just noticed there's a path to going this way. Ah, I'm gonna go backwards and go look at the path first. Actually, I'll go here and then I'll go west and go south. I'll come back here, guys. Not right now. Ah, uh, this guy again. Tough mugger. My defense is the same. for a crate. Hey, I found a hidey hole barrel. That looks kind of gross. climb up there as soon as I'm able to. Can I come up there? Nope. Of course not. Talk to be Brother Fintian. You seen a crate? Seen a cat? Could I ask about the... Not at the moment. Not safe enough to talk right now. Portcullis. Hmm. I'm curious. What's in here? Can't come in here. High security. Uh, who does the fortress belong this to? Fortress the Black Knights. Belongs to the Black Knights, also known as the Kinshra. I work here. I might be new here, but I certainly don't recognize you. You're not even wearing a proper guard uniform. Ah, you need a guard's uniform? Probably get that from beating a guard. Alright. Look for a crate, look for a guard uniform, look for a cat.
So that must not have been a path. I thought there was a path coming up here, but it looks like it just looks like one on the map, but it really isn't. is a little bit more of a path. Search bookcase, here are one. Evidence of a crate <clears throat> or power park. This path was short. That's it. Star Wars Portal. I feel like I'm going in a circle. I remember you. pocket that guard is am I going to get his uniform and then I can break into that we need thieving level 40 oh my gosh Back to the bank, yes, yes, I know. Alright, Edgeville, we've explored you quite a bit. Let's go back to Baroque and look for some kids in the chat. Yeah. Kind of look around here, look around here. Never know which quest you're going to finish next. Alright, we're looking here for a couple kids. 
Charlie, are you the guy? No. I'm out of here. You're not the one. It said in the marketplace. Do they mean in one of the stores? Market guard. Hmm. Hey, there's a kid. Shillock. I bet one of them is it. Break in Shillock. Hey, I've been looking for you. It's important. I didn't mean to take it. I just forgot to pay. Hey, I'm not trying. I'm trying to help your mom find a cat named Fox. Oh, well, in that case, I might be able to help. Plus, follow me to my super secret hideout. I haven't seen her since. She's probably off eating small creatures somewhere. Where's the secret hideout? I really need to find your cat for your mom. If I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret. What if I need to escape from the law? I need a hideout. From my, li from my limited knowledge of the law, they are not usually involved in manhunts for children. Well, it's still mine anyway. I need a place to be alone sometimes. Those two little brothers at the house are just such babies. Tell me, Sonny, or I'll inform your mom you are a criminal. What will make you tell me? Well, never mind. It's Fluff's loss. I'm sure my mom will get over it. Try Willow. Hey, been looking for ya. Oh. Talk to Willow and he pipes up. What will make you tell me? Well, now you ask. I'm a bit short on cash. How much? Ten points. Ten points? I'll handle this. Hundred points should cover it. 100 coins? What sort of expensive things do you need that badly? Well, I don't like chocolate. Have you seen how much sweets cost to buy? Why should I pay you then? Can you answer that as easily? Obviously, you shouldn't pay that much, but I wouldn't. I won't help otherwise. Never liked that cat anyway. Fussy, scratchy thing it is. So, what do you say? Okay, I'll pay. I want I want you to tell your mother what a nice person I am. Huh? I want to tell your mother what a nice person I am, so she rewards me for this search. It's a deal. You give him a hundred coins. There you go. Now where did you see Fluffs? We hide it at the out at the lumber mill to the northeast, just beyond the Jolly Boar Inn. I saw Fluffs running around in there. Well, not so much running as plodding lazily, but you get the idea. What else? Well, technically you are trespassing inside there, so no one seems to care. But no one seems to care. You'll have to find the broken fence to get in. It will be a bit of a squeeze for a grown-up, but I'm sure you can manage it. Northeast would be this way. Do they mean in the city? Lumber yard. That would be that. So I gotta go east then north. Lumber mill. Probably this building right here. Fence. Um, I don't know.
Still looking for a fence to have to squeeze through. It says yard. I wonder if it's... Aha! Squeeze under fence. I found it. Oh, that was easy. Now we're looking for the cat. Let's search some crates. Maybe I can find the parts I was looking for. That would be ironic if I finish one quest while doing another. I bet one of these crates has a cat in it. A couple more over there. Search barrel. How do I climb up there, or is that not a possibility? Probably the hardest one to find. What's that? Oh, a saw. Alright, I'm chopping down the dying tree. That way I can get to this crate. Chop down a dying tree in the lumber yard. Not letting me search those crates, so how do I get this out of the way? I'll keep searching. One of these, maybe. Maybe I have to do something like start a fire or some reaction. Another dying tree here. Lots of experience. I feel like I might be going in circles. It looked awfully familiar. Let's go in this... Uh, can I open that door? but I can buy a plank. Yeah, I think I've been here before. Alright, so if I've gone around... How about in the middle? Have I gone in here?
Oh, it's no up. There we go. Looking for a ladder. Ladder might be the key. Yay. There's Fluffs. I found him. Hiss. Ouch. Hisses but clearly wants something. Maybe she is thirsty. Regards you with disdain. So she didn't want my vial. <laughs> Stroke bluffs. This. Ouch. Food or drink, maybe? Talk to. Meow. Well, I... Maybe I used this file on the bucket. Oh, it didn't have water in it. Oh. Well, let's get some water. Is there any water around here? Of course not. Cats like water. Okay. He's like, no, I want milk. Yeah. Or maybe he wants fish or something. I'm glad I found him. Alright, let's look around. None of these people have anything. I don't think there's any way out besides that same hole I came in on. I guess I could have played with the rope. Maybe the cat likes the rope. Cats love rope. I'm gonna try that first before I go look for water because, you know, cats like milk more than water anyway. I don't know how to get milk. Quickly, let's try a rope. Regards you with disdain. Aww. How about logs? Do you like logs? Is that why you're here? Regards you with disdain. Um, I don't see anything else that a cat would like. String. That's like string. Alright, let's go fill up our buckets with water and come back. Where can we get some water? There's gotta be a fountain around here. I'll go here. I'm guessing I'll bump into something over here. That's a big cat. Monster cat. Probably weighs like 30 pounds. Oh my gosh. A monster was here. Oh, a fighting cat. Oh, it's a person. Storage chest. Quest portal. I was hoping that was water, but it's not. about a fountain? Anybody have a fountain of water? A thief. Still a fountain. I found it. Bucket of water. Still a fountain. Vial of water. Alright. Alright, now we need to go back over here to the lumber yard. I guess if I go straight east and north. Oh, 
compasses are useful. Town crier. But you're a highwayman. Now, if they don't like water, if the cat doesn't like water, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to get milk. It's gonna be a whole other step. There is a farm somewhere around here. I don't know if they sell milk or I have to go talk to the cow. I don't know where the cow is. Squeeze under fence. That's a giant hole in the fence. There it is. I heard a dog go roof. All right, kitty, you want some water? Use the water on the cat. Pour on the cat. Cats love water, right? He's gonna look at me with disdain. Ah! Use bucket of water on the cat. Dump the water on the cat. Yes! Hey, that's better. Seems, she seems to be a very normal cat. I mean, very fussy cat. Fluff looks vaguely interested at the water, but doesn't want it. A similar type of food or drink may be worth a try. Milk is similar, because it's liquid. Where can we get milk? I wonder if I have milk in the bank. Let's check the bank first. Got all kinds of stuff in the bank already. Storing it for future use. Looking for milk. Any buckets of milk. There's raw rat meat. I'll withdraw that. See if it likes that. Raw beef. Cup of tea. Doubt it wants that. But I'll grab that because it's a liquid. A jug, another bucket of water. Another bucket of water. So many buckets of water. Beer, that's a liquid. This game is weird. Any other liquids anybody see? Attack potion. Mm. Sorry, I don't think that's it. Cooked chicken. Didn't mean to get grab both. Well, I don't see any, so I think it's milk, but let's go ahead and try all these things while we're at it. Go to that gate.
and he even marked it on the map with a little red marking. Kitty door. Door. If we run out of space, we can dump some of these logs. Alright, kitty. Do you want raw rat meat? Regards you with disdain. Okay, so not that. You want doggy leaves? Yes. He's a very fussy cat. Vaguely interested in the doggy leaves, but doesn't want them. Maybe something similar. So something similar to leaves and water. How about tea? Use cup of tea on spoiled rotten cat. Regards you with disdain. Use beer on cat. Regards you with disdain. Use chicken on cat. Regards you with disdain. Okay. Cat likes leaves. Cat likes water. So maybe I need to make my own something. I need to go back to the bank. Might as well go look to the farm to look for milk, maybe? There'll be a farmer around here somewhere. Mm. Not seeing any good places. Where's the place with all the sheep? Is that Birthorp? There's the farm down here, okay. Let's go to Birthorp and the bank and look for all kinds of other things we could. The cat might like. I'll bet I'll get milk and he'll be like, no, I don't want milk. Let's see if I can get to this bank they marked on the map. Bank booth. Bank booth. There we go, okay. Beer, you can go back in. Raw rat meat, you can go back in. Chicken, you can go back in. Cup of tea, you can go back in. Might as well pause the toes. Might as well deposit all my logs. Not doing anything with those anytime soon. Now we're looking for milk. Now what is this? Use dummy crate. Oh, okay, I can't use it. All right, I'll just drop it, whatever. Alright, we're in the town, and I guess I'll just go piece by piece, look for milk and animals. Actually, the farm was west of me, I believe. Southwest of me, south of me, basically. Mm
There's a cow. We found a cow. I knew there would be a cow down here. Where beef comes from, okay. Converts grass to beef. How about milk? You got milk? Raw beef. I don't see any dairy cows around here. Water trough. I feel so sad for doing that. I was hoping milk would come out or something. Gonna see if there's any unique cows around here, but I don't see any. Suppose if I go to a marketplace, they might sell it. I'm kind of hoping I'd bump into it. There's a bunch of salesmen up here. Talk to Head Farmer Jones. Need farming supplies, specifically milk, watering can, compost. Cat wouldn't want that. A hundred buckets. That's amazing. A hundred buckets. Plant cure. Raw potato. Raw potato seed. Thing is, I don't know what to do with it when you find it in the first place. I know. Well, lilies. Maybe the cat wants the lilies. Yeah, right. Cook at the oven. into a portal do? I don't think I've ever clicked on that before. Go to your house. I have a house? Talk to this state agent to get a house. What can you do in a house? Store stuff? That would be nice. I'm just looking for milk. I'm just looking for milk. Or milk around here somewhere. Many moons ago, I was over here. It looks like those 
patrol leaders have fled back to the mountain. So have all the trolls followed them? No, it looks like they've been sneaking past in small groups and hiding in the well. Well, hopefully the numbers should be small enough for me and other soldiers to deal with. Gothics protect you. Take care if you do go inside. Be well. Yeah, this looks like they're doing stuff. Pottery. Maybe if I just look in enough places, I'll find... See, this, this looks like a little pub. I don't really want to try every single drink. Milk would be the only one I would think a cat, cat would want. That picture right there is. Talk to Toasty. Welcome to the Pick and Loot. Uh, what can I get you? Ah, uh, hi. What are you serving? No milk, huh? Would you like to buy a drink? Dwarven Stout, Wizard's Mind Bomb, Asgarnian Ale. I don't think a cat's going to want any of that junk. Does not sound cat-like. Where are my trousers? Oh, I'm wearing them. Can I help you? Need cooking supplies. Tomato, big tin, cup. I wonder if you can use a cup, an empty cup, to make a drink that the cat would like. Although the cat was drinking out of a bucket. How about chocolate? I can make a chocolate bar. Chocolate milk? You'd think if you needed dairy stuff, you would go to the cows, but these cows are useless. All you can do is get meat.
wonder if I did use the leaves on the water if that had done something. Because remember how he liked the leaves and he liked the water. So maybe if I mixed them, that was the trick. Although I don't know how to mix them. Let's pick up the leaves again and try again. cooked something with the leaves. Uh, there was a cooking something over here. I think. Or oh, there's just flames. Smelt at a furnace. That's not a cooking thing. Pottery, no. How about a stove? If I take my leaves and the water in a stove. Farming, yep. Fishing, yep. Oh, I saw something say cook at the oven. There we go, cook. It must be right inside. cook sinew. I use raw beef to cook sinew. Okay. Um, do it just for kicks. Um, what else? Can I cook? Cook meats. I can't do like boiling water and if I had a stove instead of an oven. Let's try that. Let's use a bucket of water right there. No? If you just click on that, it just gives you all the options. Crap door. Still scared after all this time. Still shaking. More beer. Pumpkin.
We already gave you food. Wow. Weird Lily of the Valley is a is a weapon. I was gonna use it with the uh vial of water and make some kind of potion of it. That's weird. You chucked the lily at the enemy or something. Talk to Gudrick at the docks of the Port Serum. I'm bored, that's why I'm going there. Cat is obnoxious. What can I do for you? Ask about a shadow over Ashton. I've received some troubling news, laddie. As you probably know, supplies are ferried over to Ashdale on a regular basis, but about a week ago, the supply ships started returning with their cargo still aboard. Apparently, in the island has been completely deserted, not a soul to be seen. And the sailors say an evil aura hangs over the place. Naturally, I'm eager to find out what's going on, but I'm too old to go jetting off on an adventure. I need someone to travel to Ashdale and investigate. I knew I could count on you. I can take you to Ashdale as soon as you're ready to leave. Take me to the island of Ashdale. Ashdale by night. Looks cold. Everybody disappear. Aha! Inspect the claw. This creature, the creature this came from, must be pretty big. Talk to Lucy. Who? Who are you? I'm here to help. Thank you, Sarah Doman. Thanks, Sarah Doman. What happened here? We were attacked by these creatures. Horrible, horrible creatures. Like something from a nightmare. They came out of nowhere. Before we knew it, we were surrounded. 
We made barricades, but the creatures just climbed over them. I managed to avoid them by hiding in my attic, but the others... The others weren't so lucky. Where are the creatures now? I don't know, I didn't see where they went. I didn't dare leave my hiding place. If I had to guess, I'd say they're hiding underneath the island somewhere, but I don't know for sure. Why haven't you tried to leave? What? On my own? You need more than one person to sail a ship, you know. No, all I could do was wait and hope that someone would come to help. And now someone has. I need to get to the other side of the island. You're not going to leave me, are you? You have to get me out of here. I have to find the other townspeople, but I understand. If you want to get to the other side, then your best bet is to use the sewers. The barricades have made it hard for to navigate the streets, but if there are other creatures around, you don't want to get caught while clambering over a stack of barrels. There's an entrance outside just through the back door. Be careful. Don't forget about me. Enter the storm drain. Okay, it's pretty dark, but somehow I magically have light. Or maybe just at the entrance. The sewer rat, ignore that. Duck under here. Um, this looks like just another way around. Probably can't even go through here anyway. I can't walk straight. Ew. Green gobbledygook. Can't go through there. More sewer rats. This looks like a place for a fight. Or a cutscene. Oh, what was that? Scary. This looks like something I might need a long range attack for. Attack the scout. A Crassian scout. Level up my defense. All right. I made it. Now I can wear this better helmet. Take the minnow. Sure, why not? So these are supposed to heal me. Heals 150. Well, let's go ahead. Did I... Does my leveling up heal me? How's my... Oh. Oh, I need that. I'll eat these. Okay, let's keep going. How many more of them are there going to be? Uh, it doesn't look like I can go there. Let's go a rat right there. Don't see anything that way. Another rat. Nothing that way. Another open area. Probably another monster to attack. Climb up the ladder. Oh, I gotta beat this guy first. It was a trap. They were trying to get me to click on that and get distracted. Maybe I can get some more minnows. What are these things down here? Just side effects from being hit or something? Alright! Level up my attack to 22. I 
healing quick for some reason. Alright, let's move up. Leave the sewers. I think I made it. This was the long trek down. Defeated a couple thingies. Ah, storm drain. Okay. So I'm on the other side of town. Looking for monsters and townspeople. I uh, can't go in that house, so I'll skip that. Nothing over there, as far as I can tell. This place is all lit up. Let's go this way. Fish in a barrel. few plucky tasty minnows in the barrel. Oh. I just ate one and I didn't need to. Cool. So if I ever need to heal, I go back to the fish in the barrel. So I should always have at least three. Aha, we found another one. Oh, there's two now. I'll wait till I'm fighting the second one. But, well, I can only attack one at a time. That's weird. Close one. There we go. Leveled up my constitution. Let me eat all these minnows and then go back and grab more fish in the barrel and then I'll continue. in a barrel. Oh, look at that. I just keep... Now I got like 20 of them. It's the infinite fish. I'm leaving one space in case I get something, like a special item or something. Alright, anything else over here that I'm missing? Nope. Open the gate. Inspect the bust. Ooh, I turned its neck and it ripped the whole building. Ooh, I made a ladder go down. That door didn't work anyway. That ladder didn't work going up anyway. Descend the stairs, of course. Oh, look who I found. Search a dead smuggler. There's much more 
damaging than before. But uh Let's eat the minnows. I know I'm gonna pick up three from him anyway. Let's eat one more. So if I find him and there's something interesting, I can pick that up. Leather bound journal. Hmm. Let's read it. Big section. Five different pages. We made landfall today. Archer was right. The caves are vast and there's more than enough room for the Empress. What's more, the island's inhabitants seem to have no idea the caves even exist. Thank the gods for the incurious minds of everyday people. The place is going to make an excellent hideout. On the 17th, We've started securing the caves. Williams has installed a security system and a few booby traps, which should keep out any unwanted visitors. The place is pretty unremarkable, although I did find some large seaweed-covered pods in one of the caves that are rather unusual. On the 20th. Today, Captain Mulligan... <laughs> Captain Mulligan... ordered me to investigate the northwestern chamber, where I found a number of holes in the wall. Large, unevenly spaced holes as wide as a man. I peered into one and saw something inside. A large crab, I thought, and gave it a prod with my harpoon. It didn't move, so I got Siegfried to help me drag it out. I wish to Sardomen I hadn't. I don't know how to describe what we found. It was like some unholy fusion of man, scrib and s man crab and split. Neither of us said a word. We just stared at the creature in silent horror. Then suddenly it stirred and before I could gather my wits, Siegfried ran it through with his spear. I made a horrible, it made a hor horrible gargling sound as it died. I ran to Captain Mulligan, told him what we'd found. He followed me over to the creature and took a long, good long look and said, throw it in the water and marched off. I ran after him, begging him to let us leave, but he said the caves were too valuable for us to abandon them. I went back to Siegfried and together he and I hauled the creature into the sea. On the 21st, I slept badly last night, had nightmares. Word of the creature had reached the others and most want to leave. Fortunately, this seems to have convinced Captain Mulligan. Maybe he's realized that abandoning this place is preferable to alienating his crew, and he's given orders to prepare for departure. If it were up to me, we'd leave straight away, but Mulligan wants us to gather up everything of value at first. 22nd. I knew we should have left sooner. Now it's too late. It happened at about midday. Anders and Percy were carrying some lumber across the mid-deck when Anders lost his footing and fell. He la landed awkwardly and somehow managed to knock one of the cannons off its carriage. And as the gun hit the deck, it went off. The noise was so loud, I thought at first the roof was caving in. Then, as the ringing in my ears started to subside, I heard a sound, a scurrying, scuttling sound, a sort of sound, that sent a shiver up my spine. Suddenly, Anders gave a cry and pointed toward the cave wall. I followed his gaze and saw a dark shape emerging from one of the holes. Then I saw another. The scuttling sound grew louder, and at that point, Captain Mulligan appeared on the deck. He shouted to arms. He shouted, To arms! And everything descended into chaos. One of the creatures appeared on deck, followed moments later by two more. Those who had swords threw them. I heard shouts, screams, and ringing on the steel. I saw Archer fall, his face covered in blood. More of the creatures swarmed onto the ship. Then I saw Mulligan, held by one of the creatures, screaming as he was carried off into the darkness. 
A panic rose in my chest and I turned and ran. Now I'm in the southernmost cave, with the creatures on one side and the raging sea on the other. To head out into the ocean would be suicide, so it looks like I'm going to have to face them. I know one thing for sure, I don't want to suffer the same fate as Mulligan. They're coming. I can hear them. Yikes. So there's tons and tons and tons of these monsters. Alright, well, before I head off on a journey to go fight off all the monsters in the cave, I'm going to go ahead and put a quick cut in the video. Um, thanks for joining me and look forward to next time finishing off this cave. Or dying, which could happen. If I need this many minnows to survive, that's probably a good idea to we'll stop it. So, alright. Hope everyone uh, has a good weekend and talk to you later. See you next time.